Do you want to check and see if your site is SEO optimized? By analyzing your WordPress website to see if it's SEO optimized, you can do things like improve traffic, find and fix SEO errors, improve search engine rankings and get more traffic. So in this video, I'll walk you through step by step on how to see if your website is SEO optimized and we'll cover two different methods so you can get the most SEO optimization out of your website. Hey there, I'm Christina with WP Beginner, where we teach all about WordPress so you can grow your website and reach your audience. If you find value in this video, give it a like. It really does help out. And all the links I talk about, you can find in the description below. So let's dive in. Checking on your site to make sure that it's SEO optimized is just a really good way of just checking and seeing how the health of your site is doing, making sure that everything looks good for search engines to improve your traffic and rankings. And so that's one of the reasons why SEO is so important. We have covered it extensively on what exactly SEO is how to do keyword research, how to do on-page, off-page SEO. If you need a refresher, you can take a look at this video and see exactly what SEO is and how it works for your website. A lot of times different plugins are created to make this whole process much easier. One of the plugins I'm going to be using is All-in-One SEO. This is a great plugin that you can install on your website and it gives you an overview of the health of your website also tells you things that you can improve on. First, we want to install All-in-One SEO. They have a free version that you can get started with, but to show you all of the features, I'm going to be installing the pro version. If you want to as well, you can head over to All-in-One SEO and make sure you use promo code WPBVIP and you'll get a discount on All-in-One SEO. Once you create your account and log in, you can head over to the downloads area where you can download All-in-One SEO. Once we're here, let's go ahead and copy the license key as well. Now we can head back over to our WordPress dashboard. We'll go to plugins, add new. And from here you can click upload plugin to upload the plugin that we just selected, or you can choose file to find where you just downloaded it. Since I have it, I can left click, drag it and install now. You also want to stick around to make sure that you activate the plugin as well. Great. Once it's activated, we can go over on the left to all in one SEO and let's go to dashboard. From here, you can launch the setup wizard and it will walk you through setting all of this up for you. So let's get started. This one will be a blog. You can give the home page title. This is what your title, the separator and the tagline of your website. You can also do a meta description here for the home page. Save and continue. And from here, you can choose if this is a personal organization. You can also upload your logo. You can also do your social profiles here. And if you have the same social profile, you can make it easier and just click on the ones that are all the same and then type in your username for all of those. And it'll fill all of those out here. You can save and continue. You just want to go through this to get everything set up. And then by default, it'll turn on some of the features based on what you've told it as well as some recommendations such as analytics. We always recommend using Monster Insights to help with connecting your website with Google Analytics. You can do some image SEO. So most bloggers have a lot of images. So that's important. You can look at all these other features that all in one SEO has as well. Now you'll decide if you want it to be under construction or live site. We want to make it live. We want to enable a site map. We don't have authors and we want to direct to attachment pages. So we're just using all of the default settings and then you can also join the community and whatnot. Great. Once everything is set up and you've connected everything, you can come to all in one SEO and let's go to SEO analysis. And what it will do is it'll go out, check your site to make sure that everything is good. You can read the ultimate SEO guide to make sure everything looks good. And if you scroll down, you have the items that they're suggesting. So you have items that are maybe critical issues. They have recommended. You can also take a look at the good results. So see what you're doing well and see what you're doing right to continue to do that. So you notice that we don't have any meta. We have some H1 tags and you don't need more than one. You shouldn't have more than one. So it's some really cool little features to tell you what all is going on with your site. Internal linking is a huge helpful factor in telling Google what your site is about by linking to other pages of your site. Then we have apparently too few of those. So you can just go through the whole process and see how your website is doing. The really cool feature of this too, is you can also analyze a competitor site. If you would like put in the competitors URL, and then you'll get a result of how they're doing as well. So you can get a little bit of idea of what you need to do to do better than your competitors doing. Once you see how your overall site is doing, and once you fix some of these critical issues, 
Then the next thing you can do is go into each individual post and I'll show you what this looks like so that you can improve the individual posts and how they're doing using the true SEO analysis. So according to All-in-One SEO, our true SEO analysis for this particular page is an 81 out of 100. And they're giving us some ideas of what we can do. So if I expand on this, it says that the meta description is over 160 characters. I need to fix that. We've got an issue with our title. The length is too long, so I can fix that. And for readability, it's saying that there's some issues with that, so I need to fix that as well. So two very powerful features that make sure that your overall site is doing well. And then also it can help you drill down into each post to make sure each post is doing the best that it can do for the search engine rankings. And then once we've done all of this, method two uses more advanced features of checking out your site. And with that, we're going to use something called SEMrush. With SEMrush, you can see just how your website is doing and just how your SEO strategy is working. You can check out a link in the description below to sign up for SEMrush and you can get started with a free, free trial period. To see how your site is doing, you simply want to log in and under on page and tech SEO, then you want to click on site audit. From here, you can enter your site's name to see how it's doing. Once the audit is complete, you can take a look and see what it comes up with. So when it goes through here, it tells you what your overall site health is, gives you some warnings, some notices, kind of similar to all in one SEO and how it does it. But with these, it goes a little bit more into some of the technical features. Like if we come down here to the top issues. We have like unified, ununified JavaScript and CSS files. These get a little bit more into the technical side of how you can fix it and what you need to do for that. You can even expand on them and see what all they say so that you can fix them. Beyond the site health score, you can do a few other things. Like you can use SEMrush to check and see how your backlinks are. How many backlinks are you getting? Go to backlink analytics to see just how your backlinks are doing. It gives you a full rundown of what kind of backlinks you have, who are they coming from? Is there anything more than you can, that you can do to get more backlinks for your website? It even gives you the top anchor information and the type of backlinks that you have. Another cool feature is you can track your traffic and keyword rankings over time. This is really helpful to see, well, what keywords are popping up? What articles did you write? What keywords were those? And are they actually performing for you? So this, you can go into organic research to see just how your website is doing and performing with different keywords. With this, you can go into overview to just see what your organic keyword trend is. You can see just how up or down it is. If you have an actual site and not a demo site like this, you'll have a lot more features to look at. And then you can dig into the position. So then you can actually see where your keywords are and how they are actually ranking on your site. And there'll be a whole list of the keyword difficulty, what your position is, if it has changed. And one final thing I wanna show you is if you're doing a lot of writing for your website or if you have writers doing it, you can use something like their SEO writing assistant that helps you understand just how your articles are performing, gives you ideas on how to improve those articles. It is something that we use throughout all of our articles to get the best article written for our audience. And I might show you watch this video next as I walk you through step-by-step -step on exactly what is SEO and how to use SEO to improve your search engine rankings. And I'll see you over there.